Good afternoon. I just got home from work a few minutes ago, had some hot soup and some crackers, and we're ready to dive into this review. Second attempt, the first video, I watched it end, uh, end to end, and even record something and just look at it go, what the heck was I thinking? Yeah, one of those. So let's try again. This time we have our left hand brewing company. Wake up dead imperial stout. <coughs> Sinuses. Okay. And we have from Marble Bre Brewing Company in Albuquerque, New Mexico, we have Cholo Stout. <laughs> There's no way to read this with a straight face. It says, Yo, this stout is all sick, Holmes. It rides low and slow like a dark with a dark blend of roasted malts and bounces high with a pop of bright Pacific Northwest hops. And it's 8.9 ABV, similar to the cool beans that we did. And yeah, it's brewed here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it got an award, um, 2017 GABF Gold Winner for an American Style Stout. So, let's pop into this. One of these days, I need to see if I can find the Wake Up Dead IPA. Because that just sounds good. Right up my alley. Okay, pouring it slowly. So basically, it's dark because it's got roasted malt in it. It's pouring nice and thick. Look how thick that is. It's got a nice head on it. About one of one of my fingers. It's tasting a little bit different than yesterday. I had it at room temperature when I did the first take on this. And then I was tasting more of the malt. And it was, when it's room temperature, it had a nice, warm, malty taste with a little bit of hops to balance it out so it wasn't so sweet. This time, since it's sat in the fridge overnight, I had it out Tuesday and Wednesday at room temp but I decided to chill it. When it's chilled, it's a little different character. It's brighter. And this time when it's chilled, I'm getting a more balanced taste between the malt and the hops. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the camera. Yeah, the hops come across a little stronger when it's chilled, but when it's warm, you can taste the malt a little bit more with just a little bit of the hops on top of it to, you know, give it a little bit of bitter so it's not so sweet. So warm, room temperature, it is good. If you want more of the malty taste to come through, and if you want a more balanced, bright citrusy flavor and the hops come through more, go ahead and chill it. So basically, it's good warm or chilled. This one, I'm not sure how sessionable it is. Because after all, it is a stout. Again, I would say, same as what I said with the cool beans, one or two, it's not something you're going to want to drink a lot of back to back. It's, you know, again, it's not something that you, you know, that I would do. Uh, some people are, you know, into drinking a lot of stouts, some people drink a lot of Guinness and heavier beers, so they might want more. If you're 
accustomed to drinking mostly stouts, then by all means, yes, it would be more sessionable for you. But for those of us who usually go with something along the lines more of an ale or a pilsner or an IPA, this is a little less sessionable because as you're not used to drinking as heavy a brew. So that's my take on that. Uh, when it's warm, it's the hops are second to the malt, and when it's chilled, it's more balanced. The malt of the hops cut the taste of the malt more, but you taste it. It's a little more on the hoppy side. It's about it's a balanced taste, but you taste more of the a little bit more of the hops than you do of the malt when it's chilled. So basically warm or cold it's a very excellent beer and if you can get this beer I highly suggest you excuse me you do so again check out their website excuse me pumpkin soup beer Ooh. marblebrewery.com it's in Albuquerque New Mexico and I'm not sure if they have a Facebook they probably do so Look them up on Facebook. I will try to leave a link in the description like I do quite often with the breweries and other companies that I do hauls and reviews for. And that's it. Um, stay safe, stay warm. It was snowing here today. Fortunately, it melted, but we're going to be getting some more later. Ugh. Okay. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of thing, beer reviews, snack hauls, clothing hauls, just a, a, a variety of things. I try to go as much dark and goth, you know, darkly inclined and goth as possible. But every once in a while I throw something in just because I like it and I figure you might like it too. So I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Wear your reverse masquerade. Don't drag and drive. Let the other monsters drive the hearse. And in fact, it might be better off if you don't go out as much. Park, you know, maybe you might want to park the hearse and just chill at home with a couple of monsters. Keep the numbers down. So if you keep the numbers in your group down, maybe we can get the numbers of sick cases down. So stay safe. I want to see you guys in the next video. Bye.